Uh, hello, uh, Fear the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sandman. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to completely get rid of the videos being out of sync problem, but I should be able to record this in 12 minute uh, chunks, as it were, and by doing that, uh, I think I can... Uh, limit it as much as possible so it's less of a problem oh that did not sound good well what was that uh, whatever it is it might be in here and it might not be nice Actually, I know exactly what it is, because I've played this game before. Um... I just don't know where it is. But it's somewhere. I gotta look for that. Oh, okay. Right, well, obviously I need to find the conference room. Whatever that is. Ah. So presumably there are other meeting rooms here. We know one of these meeting rooms is open. Ah. What? Papa? Papa, what is it? S Sophie, why are you here? Sophie, run away. It's dangerous here. It's coming. What? What? What's coming? That. <laughs> All right. Escaping from Blue Dragon. Ah. Ah, it's low enough. What? Sophie, run. Now. Papa. Come with me. Hurry. Okay, so in a minute we're going to be running for this dragon. I don't like the running sequences in this game, and um, Yuri, who created this game, does tend to do this a lot. Fortunately, there aren't that many of them, but I might need to do it more than once. Basically, if you make a mistake, you're dead. So what you need to do is uh, memorize the route. Which doesn't take that long, but I, I am probably going to have to do this more than once. So, I'll sure it off from the time when I do do it. Unfortunately, I think this is the fastest you can go. Now I know where not to go. But I want to tell you something, except I can't because I sold my copy of the Black Album by Metallica. If I did have that, I would point out that the lyrics for the song Enter Sandman have told us, well, what's happened in this game so far. Basically, what happens in the game is based on that song, so it does have Dreams of Dragon's Fire, for example, in the lyrics, and I would read the lyrics out right now, but I can't. So, Papa! 
Sophie, run, get out of the building. No, Papa. Papa! It's a dream. That has to be a dream. I'm having an awful nightmare because I can't explain it. Black shadows, weird soldiers, a fire breathing dragon. Let me wake up. I can't. I don't even want to sleep if this is the kind of dream I'll have. And if I can't wake up, then help. Please, somebody help me. David, help. To be fair, the fire has disappeared. Um, it is actually possible that it's a dream. I'm not giving anything away um, here by saying that, I don't think. Papa, where are you? Um, okay, fine, we don't have the pass. Could this be the pass? No, it could not, I suspect. Is this one of my teeth? It fell out when I was blown back. Yeah, why weren't you cut your teeth with you having just been attacked by a dragon? <laughs> That's what I'm always tempted to do when um, when I get attacked by a dragon. I. <laughs> anyway, let's go and find David, shall we? He might be able to help her deal with this. Possibly. David's not here yet. That looked like a horse with something there. And that is also the time when I need to end this to um, to split this episode into two. So, see you in a minute. It's unlocked somehow. The horse must have unlocked it. Don't know how a shadow horse unlocks stuff, but I guess the shadow horse unlocked it. I'm sorry, was that a closet that can walk? Oh, no, it's a closet you walk into. Because, you know, in this, this weirdness, it really wouldn't surprise me that much if there's a closet that can walk. You don't know that there isn't. Uh, okay, hello, sleeping woman. Look, I hope you don't mind my breaking into your house. Technically, I'm not breaking in, but um, I was following a horse, so... What? No way. That can't be. Why? Oh, Sophie. Did you find your father, Sophie? I did, but he's gone. Gone? What do you mean? He got separated? Something like that. I see. Sorry, I couldn't find your friends. I wonder where they could be. I searched the town over again, but I haven't found anyone awake. No choice but to look harder, I guess. Let's go, Sophie. We have to find your father and friends. Just who are you? Huh? What do you mean, Sophie? And why this all of a sudden? Who am I? David, of course. Liar! Because David, because David, 
is in that apartment. He's asleep. Well, it did look to me like there was no one lying on that sofa or whatever it was, but, you know, perhaps his head was covered or something. So, who are you? Not seeing what you mean. Here, I'm me. Don't go asking me who I am. Sheesh. First of all, you said I was sleeping over there? Let's say it's true. Why won't that one be the fake? Because he's not. Because you already lied to me. That alone tells me I can't trust you. Lied? What lie? When did I lie? Stay away. Don't get any closer. Why do you look like David? Oh boy. It looks like you got me. Jeez. Wasn't my fault, at least. I'm sure it was his interference. Sheesh, what a pain in the neck. Did you... Did you do this? Did you put the town to sleep? Wasn't me. It was the Sandman. Sandman? Yeah, um, they've already put season one onto um, Netflix if you want to find out who he is. <laughs> you mean that fairy who... Yeah, you know him, don't you? Uses sleeping sand to put humans to sleep. Well, he brought all the humans in the world to sleep. Forever. Do you think I'm stupid? Sandman put the whole world to sleep? As if fairies actually exist. Oh, now you don't believe me? After seeing shadows, soldiers, far-breathing dragons? Uh, how did you know about the dragon? Because that was me. What? So you did all of that? Yeah, that's it. I'm Lullaby, one of Sandman's creations. Lullaby? Sandman put everyone into eternal sleep. He used a special sleeping sand different from his easel. He stopped time and scattered the sand worldwide. The humans first sleep while time was stopped. But not everyone. Sophie. There are people like you. I guess you call them insomniacs. So there are others awake. Yeah, here and there around the world. So the Sandman blew, brewed up a plan for them, and he made me lullaby. The ones who can't sleep are uneasy, angry, impatient. How do you put these people to sleep, you think? Clear up those feelings. Erase their worries, grant their desires, satisfy them. That's what my job is. If someone can't sleep out of worry about their project, I sing them a lullaby of a successful project. And when vexed by romance, a lullaby of, of hooking up. Children in place of war, terrified of gunshots, I sing them a lullaby that war is over. Then they all sleep peacefully. Uh, hold it right there. Then that makes all the stuff I've seen. My lullaby for you, Sophie. No way! What kind of lullaby is that? I won't be put at ease by that. That's... that's the stuff of nightmares. You should be more honest with yourself, Sophie. Didn't you feel such disdain for your friend, saying she worried but never acting on it? Didn't you want her to be condemned as a liar? Didn't you want revenge on the girl who was once a close friend but now bullies you? Didn't you want her to be executed in front of everyone? Stop it. Didn't you want the company that took your father from you to go up in flames and for him to be at a loss? Stop it!
Oh, Sophie. You should have just not done anything. Just watch them suffer as you wished. If you had by now, you'd, been ab you'd have been able to sleep peacefully. To be fair, I mean, I think this shows that Sophie's a good person. She still had compassion on them. Even though, in a way, they were getting what she felt they deserved. I mean... Also, her dad's still her dad. I mean... Even if she's very, very, very annoyed at him, as long well as she still loves him, then she's not going to want him to be burnt to death, is she? I think the Sandman's made a mistake here. Or Lullaby has. I, I don't know exactly whose idea it was. Where's the Sandman? Why do you ask? I'm going to stop him. Putting everyone to sleep is no joke. I'm not going to let him do that. Take my hand, Sophie. What? You want to go where Sandman is, yes? I'll take you there. Really? You do realise I want to stop him. Aren't you on his side? I can't go against your wishes. It's my job to grant them. Are you scared? Of course not. Take me to the Sandman. Okay, so I guess what I, I found various things weird, like purple things, um, in the uh, the train station and so on. Um, so I'm assuming either we can get back there or whatever it is I missed it I'm gonna have to hope that whatever it is doesn't affect the ending because this has multiple endings but I don't know how to activate eight uh, all of them what where is this is this where the Sandman lives huh that guy's gone Time to go it alone, is it? Very well, I'll go alone. Well, either I'll be able to go back or I won't. You know what? I think getting to wherever we're going to get need to get to is probably not going to be easy. Um, so I'm going to try going upwards, but look, if I don't really get anywhere, which it looks like I won't, um, well, I'll, I'll cut out any bits that aren't helpful. I'm sure these plants will be an indicator of where I'm supposed to go. Okay, not much we can do here, I guess. Do I hear singing? Is someone here? Oh. Uh, okay. Guess that's not what I'm supposed to do. And I'm going to have to go through a whole load of stuff again. Aha! Um, yep. 
you go further down. Oh shoot, I messed up. Oh, uh, my, it's not a tasty prayer at all. It's a girl. Shouldn't have come out in the first place. Uh, who are you? You don't know me? I'm Nixie. Nixie? That fairy who lives in the swamp? Yes, indeed. I thought a handsome young man came along, but just a squirt. Ah, I'm so peeved. I know, she doesn't sound that peeved, but honestly, who could say that and make it sound genuine? Say, so, could you bring me something nice? I'll let you through if you do, otherwise no dice. Why should I? I need to get to Sandman, please let me through. No, can do. I'm in the mood for a shiny coin. Bring it and I'll drag you into the swamp. Alright, chop chop. Okay, I guess I need a coin from somewhere. But that is going to have to be the end of our episode. I... Mm. What are you doing in my house? Don't you know how to knock? Rude. Jeez, didn't even notice you. Come on, out with you. Who are you? What? Forgotten about me? The nerveless kid. Why should I know who you are? Come now, girl. I'm the two fairy. Two fairy? You mean... That's right. When you're little, I did, you know, under the pillow and all that. What are you talking about? The two fairy doesn't exist. I wasn't a fairy. It was my dad. Ugh. Stop, stop, stop. Say no more, girl. Seriously. The two fairy dies every time you say that baloney. There's f oh, it's a few enough of us as it is. I'm sorry. All right, as long as you get it. But if you've no business, skedaddle. I've got work to do. All right, so that is going to be it for our, our episode. Um, I will see you next time.